Good evening, everyone. Today is Friday, November the 10th. This is Robert Allen from Robert Allen Art Studio in Palgrave, New Orangeville, Ontario. I'm just continuing on with my 10-minute uh, paintings for this week. My theme was landscapes. So I think with the uh, first touch of winter here, we had a, a couple of snow squalls the last few days. Um, some snow's not quite, I guess it's on the ground a little bit, but it's, it's, it's melting, but it'll be the, it's nice to see winter. So I'm just going to call this piece, uh, Winter Has Come. So I got a blank uh, piece of uh, four, by six, 4 times 6 uh, inches uh, arches paper. It's a 140-pound cold press. I'm working with my acrylic paints today. I've got my uh, primary colors, yellow, cadmium yellow, uh, ultramarine blue, crimson or red. i got a, a titanium white and a Mars black. So I just set the timer to uh, 15 minutes. Um, I'll do a few minutes of talking and then uh, we'll get started. And hopefully I don't run longer than 15 minutes, but I'm trying to do this in 10 minutes. So I think I'm just going to do a fairly simple uh, winter scene. I want to do a, a blue sky. I'm probably going to use the colors of the sky into mountains. It may have water down below. I'm not sure yet. Um, we'll do it as we go. Um, but I want the, the sky colors. If I'm doing blue here, and, and maybe a purple color, I want that to reflect on the mountain sides and then also in any uh, terrain that I do down below. So it's going to be a... Almost a uh, you know a non-realistic uh, type uh, thing with just same tones, but it's to show that you can do pictures with limited colors and uh, just have the colors and tones reflected, and uh, it should still look uh, somewhat realistic. So let's get started. So I'm just going to go into the uh, the sky. I'm going to cheat a little bit here. I'm going to do some wet and wet. So I'm just going to do. Uh, I don't know where my mountain is going to be yet. I'm still thinking that through. Um, so I'm just going to wet the paper here a little bit. Same with the technique that I use with uh, watercolors. So I'm just going to wet the uh, top of the page here. I'm going to throw in some uh, blue. I'm going to make it uh, fairly thin. So I want, I want it to be fairly thin. Now again, this is acrylic paint, not water paint, but I do want them to be fairly thin. Now what I'm going to do is just uh, brush this in from the sides. This is a very similar technique that I use with watercolors. So I'm just going to brush it in. I don't want to keep a little bit of my, my colors there uh, clean. So I'm going to come up with some reds now and just kind of brush that in the sides here as well. Give me a nice purple. Red and blue make natural purple. I'm brushing in from the sides. I do want to keep this um, tone uh, loose here. I'm actually going to, uh, I think I'm going to continue to uh, wet the page down below. I have decided I'm going to do some water. So I'm going to throw some water down here for loosely. Come back in with this uh, red uh, type colors in the sides here. Come back in with my original blues that I had in the sky color. Again, I'm treating, cheating and trying to use my acrylics like water paints here, but I'm going to throw some colors in here really loose. I don't want to keep this uh, section here fairly white. What I'm going to do now is just come in with my... Uh, come in with some paper towel. Kleenex. I'm just going to try and dab some of this away. And it will just give me some natural uh, textures. Uh, hopefully they look like clouds. I'm not sure if I'm going to do a reflection on here in the bottom yet, but I'll do some down there as well. So I'm liking that. I'm still going to uh, just do some more water. And uh, just kind of blend this a little bit more in the middle here. I do want to keep the, I do want to keep the white, so I'm trying to still maintain my white space there. So I'm liking that. So let's come back in now. I'm going to come back in now with... Um, a dark blue. So I can. I'm gonna do some highlights. I think on the mountain with um, paint it over here. I'm gonna come back in with my darkest tones first. I think just to get the uh, sharp edge of the mountain. So I'm gonna come in with blues. I, I want to be fairly, uh, fairly sharp. So I'm not gonna water down too much. Nice sharp edge of my uh, half inch uh, shader brush here. I'm just going to lay in uh, a mountain. I'm thinking uh, I might just change the perspective a little bit here and just uh, again, all I'm trying to do here is just get the top edge of the mountains. Not worrying about the total shape of the mountain yet. I just want to get the uh, the rough edge. And again, it's more continuous shapes, so I'll do that. I think I'm going to come into a valley. Again, this is live, so whatever happens, happens. I do want to try and get peaks on the mountains. So we'll do another range of mountains over here. And we'll just leave that like that, I think. 
So this is going to be like, kind, of, kind of like a mountain range, I think I'm thinking. Um, I am going to have more mountains on the side here. We'll see how that goes. Just going to kind of... We'll see how this perspective works. I'll change my tone values to be darker as I uh, come closer. At this point, I'm just trying to get the shape of the mountains on the, on the paper. I'm trying to figure out how I want to do that certain part. So I'm just going to do some more sharp. It's kind of like a wave on the mountains here. Uh, darker black there. So I got some you know ranges of mountains here. We'll see how this goes. I'm going to come in my mountains now. I think what I'm going to do is just come in with my mid tones and then I'll figure out what my dark tones are. So I think in the, the lights here, I might be whiter here, maybe lighter on this side. We'll see how it goes. Um, I'm going to throw some white in here. White and blue. So this will be my, I think this will be my, more my mid tone. So I'm just going to uh, keep my brush fairly, uh, fairly thick paint here. I'm just going to scrub in, I think some of this mid-tone, and we'll see what, what happens and where it goes. I'm pushing fairly hard, just kind of scrubbing this in. Again, I hate working in white paper, so this is kind of just getting the, the uh, paint on the paper to cover up the tones, cover up the paper so it's no longer white. I don't want it to be uniform, this kind of looks a little bit uniform right now, so I'm not liking that. I am going to come in with some darker tones of grays, I think. This is a lighter gray. So let me see what I can do. Um, I think I'll add some more white gray over here. It doesn't look like much now, but there's methods to my madness, so we'll see how this looks in a minute. I'm going to come in with some really light tones here. I'm going to kind of do white tones here, I'm thinking. We'll see how this works. It looks like a mess right now, and uh, we'll see how that continues. I think I want some white tones over here. Some more whites over here. Purposely wanted to go into a valley, so we'll see how this goes. Okay. I'm just going to come in with some water, kind of tone this down a little bit, get some of these uh, harsh lines away from here. I'm sure this is not the traditional method of doing mountains, but uh, it's all about trying something new and we'll see what happens. Okay, so I'm thinking of the sun shining there. This is the whiter spot of the mountain, so we'll kind of keep that white for now. Give me some reflection there as well. I'm going to come back in with my blues, I think my darker blues, and just kind of Lay some darker tones in here. I'm gonna kind of try and get a shape to it. We'll see how this goes. I'm tapping into it. We'll see how it goes. I do want the, the darker shade to be down here. More mid-tones, I think, in here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Again, used to working wet on wet, and wet so this is fairly wet right now. I'm thinking uh, get rid of some of those harsh lines over there. Just gonna mute this down a little bit. Get some more uh, muted colors in here. I really don't like harsh lines. I know uh, for the mountains, I'll get some harsh lines later on, I think, with the dry brush techniques. But for now, I kinda, I'm trying to purposely trying to wash this out so it, it, uh, it's more softer lines. We'll get the harsh lines when I do dry brushing on it. I might even need a hair dryer to, to dry this off. I might actually uh, just do that really, really fast. I know it's going to be noisy. I'm just going to plug in the... Uh, Not a hair dryer, it's more of a, a heat gun. So we'll see how this goes. Mm -hmm. 
try not to melt my paint. Draw this on a little bit. trying to add some more details to this now so I'm uh, liking some of it I'm not liking it all yet so we'll uh, continue to do some cool stuff here so let me come back in here with my uh, I'm gonna come back with my mid-tones just kind of like a grayish blue not my darkest tone so let's just start doing some uh, features in here Okay, time to add some whites. Winter is coming, that was the theme, so I do want to make this really uh, bright. So I'm just going to tap in some uh, some crevices in here, see how this goes. So if I was working on bigger pieces, I'd be probably using a palette knife. But uh, yeah, sometimes you can get the, uh, the the textures of just the. Uh, and we'll see how this goes. The illusion that there's uh, well, the side of the kind of the sun shining here to get the brighter here and here, and the other sides are kind of darker muted tones. So I'm just gonna come back in with those mid tones and try and lay down some more. Uh, Darker tones here. I may end up doing a wash to get some darker tones here. Into the valleys. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna come back in here, the white, or the black rather, and just do a fairly loose wash. I do like washes. I guess my, my signature, I guess, with acrylics, I do like to do uh, washes and then dry brush uh, techniques or highlights. More my uh, shadows tend to be more washes than anything, um, and that tends to be, that came from my world of miniatures when I was much younger painting miniatures. That miniatures are three dimensional, so you in order to get the crevices of capes and uh, dressings and sleeves and stuff, you had, basically had to do washes to get down the crevices. Your mid tones are the main basic colors, and then your highlights were dry brush because the pieces were so small. So uh, definitely I learned my techniques of painting um, from doing miniatures. I'm just going to wash in some black here. That's not thin enough. Get some It may not look like much, but when it dries, it's going to. I definitely want some more black. But I don't want my black to be overpowering. I do want like a, see how that goes on there? And it's kind of like a wash over the over the white and tones it down. That's intentionally what I'm trying to do. It's just tone it down a little bit. Of course, if it's too wet, then it becomes like muddy. You got to be careful of that. But I think for now, this is not bad. So I'm going to come back in with my whites. In my brush, I'm just tapping my brush to get it uh, fairly wet. But I'm going to wipe it off with my cloth now so it's dry. So I just got a little bit of white on my brush now. Uh, not too bad, but it's light enough that I can actually just you know, tap in some additional uh, features on, on the hills here. If I do light enough, I start getting uh, an effect, almost like a palette knife. I'm trying to work without my palette knives. But it gives me a, same, a similar effect where I can get some uh, fairly nice edges. Again, I'm assuming the light source is coming from, from around here, so I'll get lots of whites on this side of the mountain. 
Maybe some on this side. Let's go down the mountain. And then these sides are more in the shade, so that's why I was going to do more uh, mid-tones into uh, other levels. I'm going to come back in one more time with just black. Watered it down quite a bit. I'm almost on a 10 minute mark, so I'm just going to put some more crevices in here with black. I'm just trying to uh, get, try and get more three dimensional effect on this mountain here. And I guess there's one spot on the mountain, that was a 10 minute mark, so there's one spot on the mountain I think uh, that might still be uh, you know, needing some color. And that's right down the middle, I'm trying to look like a valley down the middle, so I do want a dark spot right along the middle of the uh, of the valley. So I'm going to come in here, fairly loose, fairly wet, really, really wet I think. And I'm just going to try and dab in a, a valley into the middle of this mountain. Try and make it darker as it comes towards me. We'll see how this works. Can't take advantage of the natural blending of the paint, especially when it's wet. Now this is watercolor; would be a lot easier. But I think I'm gonna tone that down a little bit. Here's harsh lines. I don't want harsh lines. I'm trying to get softer lines. Now, I know mountains themselves are very jagged. So I think uh, I'm thinking that's pretty might might be it. I'm gonna come back in one last time with the white because my white tends to be uh, watered down. It doesn't quite stay as bright as I like it to be. So I can come in one more time with the white. And just tab in Some more highlights here. Yeah, my paint is fairly wet, so it's gonna stay on here for a little bit. Some mountains on here. They may have some snow in the distance, but it's going to be uh, just pockets of it. Let me just tap some more down here. So I'm liking that. I think this is uh, pretty much going to be uh, going to be it. So we'll see what happens. I'm I'm liking that. I kind of wish I had more. I want like a black spot in the middle of the painting, so let me just come back in one last time. Just my blacks, and try and do a wash down here to give the illusion of a valley. It's a lot darker than everywhere else. There would be a dark spot here, dumping down the valley as well. Try to make this darker as well. Maybe this one comes all the way down to here. So I'm liking that. We'll see how that dries. Um, again, I tend to use my acrylics to kind of like watercolor, so um, it's just me. That's how I do things. Um, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I do want to get some more textures in there. So I think I'm liking that. One last time with the white, and then I'm going to call it a day before I start wrecking this thing. So I think that's going to be it. So we'll say winter has come. Um, get some white in my brush. Let's see if we can sprinkle. If we can sprinkle a little bit on here or not. Well, maybe not. So I think that we're going to call that my ten minute painting for the day, and then we'll just label this one as uh, winter has come. So wherever you are in the world. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, enjoy your weekend. I probably won't get a chance to paint tomorrow. I'm uh, fairly busy during the day and nighttime. So uh, if I do, I might, might be late at night, but uh, I'll try. But we'll, no promises. So wherever you are in the world, enjoy your day. I'm just going to spend the next few seconds just peeling off the border. So you can see what it looks like with the, uh, the border peeled off. I find it always looks more striking with the border off. The white border kind of uh, gives it itself a natural frame. Painter tape sometimes is too tacky. That's not bad. And then my last one. Hold that down. Nice crisp border. 
So I hope you're liking this piece. Um, I'm liking it. I like the backgrounds of the sky colors a lot. Uh, I think the mountain and the terrains will, uh, will come on their own when they dry. So, wherever you are in the world, enjoy your day. Take care.